can we play into this box and have it automatically come up with a rhythm section sound that we like? Let's, Let's find, find out. out. Hey everyone, I'm Sean Pierce Johnson. I'm Sean Daniel. And I'm J Letter J. And this trio is going to go in deep with the Digitech Trio Plus. Now, for those of you that don't know, you can essentially think of the Digitech Trio Plus as sort of a backing track creator. You can be a solo performer, whether acoustic or electric, and use it to create a band behind you, hence the trio moniker. You record guitar into it and you get bass and drums back, which I think is pretty cool. We are actually going to be using a remote Digitech foot switch. Now we have it lapsed into a mode where basically the foot switches on that remote foot switch reflect the two foot switches that you see on the Trio Plus right here. And I thought it would be fun if we just kind of plugged into this and uh, see if we could come up with a short little bit of music here and talk about some of the fun things we can get up to here and uh, let's dive in, people. Play me a song, Sean. Something F sharp minor. Let's teach the band. The band is now blinking. That means that they're ready to learn. So let's teach them what we want it to play. Now, that's not quite the feel that I want to go for. I want something just a little greasier. Okay. The alt time is the easiest way to get there. A single press slows it down a little bit, makes it a little bit different, half time. Then if you want, you can change to a different drum groove with the style. Ah, oh, a little side stick Ooh. thing. I think it can go with yeah, that. Yeah, BB King vibes mm. I'm getting over yeah. here. Yeah, there you go. And now we will record with the loop. We're gonna arm it to loop. That means it's ready to record. And then once we come around to the one, two, We have individual level controls for the loop that I just record, the bass and the drums. So if we maybe want to push the drums, get that bass going real thick. Because it is R&B after all. Yeah, of course. Now I'll set something there. This is pretty good. This is a good yeah. place to start. The other thing that I think is also really cool is that you can record multiple parts if you want to. I can press part two and record a second part to that. So say that would be like my verse part. If I wanted to record a chorus part, I would just have to do the same thing that I just did just once more. And you can even set it by pressing and holding the part button to start you off with a four count so that you're in time with the first part mm. that you recorded. Witchcraft. Okay. Are you ready to give it a try? I cannot try it with an acoustic guitar. I would love it oh, if you yeah. tried it with an acoustic Let's guitar. Do Let's do it. Okay. You're playing acoustic now, Sean, <laughs> Here which we I'm excited about. I don't know if you were briefed on my excellent musical taste, but I marched to a bit of a different drummer. Oh, okay. Right? I play most everything in 3 4, as Jay knows, oh. all the time. Is this going to be a problem for me? It's not going to be a problem at all. There are, in fact, on the style knob okay. for the drum grooves, there are several 3 4 time signatures towards the end of the knob's throw. So okay. you will definitely be able to play something in 3 4 all right. with the band. Let me teach the band. So I'm going to hit this. Wait, let, me, let me put this in 3 4 first. All right. So we uh, we got to cover ourselves. Let's go to 11's a good number. 11. There we go. Turn one louder. One louder. One louder. Mm -hmm. It is. All right. So okay. gonna hit this. Yep. Get ready to teach the band. Yep. And then here we go. Press it one more time. Just one. Yeah, oh, just one. Just once. No, no, okay. no. Yeah, good. that's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's right? good. Yeah. yeah. I feel like this is it. Yeah. Whoa. And then I want to add my loop over that, right? Yeah. Yeah. If this, you're recording your initial first part. Press the looper button. It'll start recording on the one okay, when so your band this starts. Is, no, no, no. Next one. There middle? you go. No, no. no uh, yeah. There's left most. All right, so now.
Got it. There you go. Mm. There we go. That's for you, Jaya. I'm feeling it in my tummy. best thing that I've found with this is that when you're teaching the band and you're really starting to create that foundation, try to keep your chords as simple as possible. Like A lot of times I would just go straight up cowboy chords and then make it more interesting when I started adding on the loop. Anyways, yeah, I think it's your oh, turn. Are you okay, ready? I'm all right, ready. Uh, all right, your yes. turn to the hot seat. You're going to be able to contain the funk for a little bit? <laughs> and as if by magic, Jay's in the hot seat. He's going to build a loop with the trio, but you know what? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna tell you what genre I'm gonna choose for you. You're just gonna do I'm it. Just gonna do it. Oh I'm just gonna goodness. do it. Ooh. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna so, write. Okay. So okay. I'm, okay. See, I have a whole plan. So I'm gonna simplify, and I'll give you as much versatility as you can to to see what we can I do here. I just want right? you to do your thing. Right, so get here. ready to teach the band. Okay. Nice and easy. Here we go. Uh, I chose E pop for you for some. There we go. Oh, I'm gonna add more. I'm gonna more oh. more levels here. I'm feeling levels here. Okay. Yes. We got effects. So we have one button for guitar effects, which okay. we can, let's, you know what? Let's go through them. Let's, let's go, go through. Let's go through them. We okay. have a green setting and okay. let's get you a mix going. Okay. ourselves a little groove. I'm going to go take it down. Mm. Take it deep. down. Deep down? Deep down. Deep okay, down. let's go here. Uh, ah. There you go. That's deep. <laughs> you feel that Man. though? Are you serious with me? Come on now. Okay. Now we got little effects here, right? Yeah. Okay. Right now I think we got something with a little bit of chorus on it. Uh. Honey, okay. 
Now, there are a few things that we didn't touch on that I think will actually make this a good performance tool. For example, every single part you record, every single song you put together, this will actually auto-save everything that you've done. Mm -hmm. So if you want to use this as a performance tool, you can essentially build a set list on this, unplug the power and all the audio cables, take it to your gig, and it's all right there. You don't have to press and hold to save anything you've come up with. The other thing, too, is the seek knob, which you can record multiple parts and be able to tell the pedal what order you want them played in and how many times. It could be a performance tool if you wanted to. Well, I guess the real question is how would you use it? Yeah. Write it down in the comments section below. And I guess that being said, we'll see you all soon. Yeah. Take care. Thanks Goodbye. for joining us.